Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Now, I know you have seen this before. I've shown you a couple times how to make these styrofoam characters that stand up, but I've been getting a lot of questions about my newest edition of the Hot Exacto Knife. The prep of this is not going to be any different than what it was before. The only difference is, is instead of using like a basic X-Acto knife, I'm going to be using this hot knife. This is very, very, very hot. It's already plugged in, so I can't show you, but this thing right here will burn your fingertips right off. So if it gets loose right here, I'll, I just have like a pair of pliers and I just go in there. Whoop and tighten it up a little bit if it starts to get loose. It does tend to get loose, but this ends up cutting the styrofoam and the paper like butter, which I really love. I'll show you that in a second um, when I get to that portion of this project. The other thing too is like, how do I get the characters to stand up when they're on the styrofoam, like glued onto the styrofoam? I use these uh, easel things. You can get them off Amazon. This and this will be linked in the description of this video so you can go ahead and look at the description of the video. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this over like this. It's gonna prop up eventually. And then it's gonna go on the back of the finished um, monster truck and then it'll stand up on its own. Uh, again, I'll show you this at the very end when we get to that portion, but let's fast forward through the prep of this and then we'll get to how to use this X-Acto knife. Now that we've gotten this far, remember, make sure that this dries all the way before continuing to cut this only because it will start, if it's still wet the glue underneath, it will start to tear your paper, which that's not what you're looking for. So you make sure that this is dry. Now with this, you're gonna hold onto the black handle. Don't touch anything that is metal. If you touch anything that's metal from here down, it is going to fry your fingertips. So I always like to hold it like a knife like this. You don't need a whole lot of pressure, but just enough and it will slice just like butter. And I always like to cut off any extra styrofoam before going on to the, to the actual character just because then it's easier to work with. And then whatever else is just, gar this is like my garbage pile or I put it down on the ground. See how easy that cuts? I am cutting on a self-healing mat. I've been looking for a really large glass uh, cutting board for crafting and I can't seem to find one that fits my needs. I need it to be really large. Uh, so I'm doing right now is on a self-healing mat, but I would suggest getting a glass cutting board if you can find one. And I am just holding it like a knife like a dagger almost and just putting it down and then dragging it across i have noticed though when i hold it like this it's almost like the blade shakes too much and that's not what i'm needing i need more like steady control which is why i hold it down like this and then i drag around same thing, now that we're getting close to the edge, go slow and we're just going to drag this around the entire character. See how it just comes right apart? The beauty of this is it helps with your hand fatigue using a hot knife versus an X-Acto knife. I have noticed that if I was only using the X-Acto knife, I was um, only able to do a couple at a, t a couple characters at a time because my hand would hurt so bad. But now with this, using the hot knife, it just kind of melts the styrofoam. And so you don't really have to put a whole lot of pressure, which helps with hand fatigue. Okay, and then if you don't go all the way through on the front side, all I do is, is I go to the back and I flip up my character it, or the extra pieces of styrofoam that I'm trying to cut off and I just kind of glide the knife over where the cut line is and it just melts the paper and the styrofoam so then it easily releases, leaving your back really nice. Like this looks really, really clean and beautiful. Same thing right here at the very corner of this. It's not it's not like a full cut piece. 
So all I'm doing is, is I'm pulling this up just a little bit to where I can kind of get where that uh, cut line needs to be. And I'm just taking my hot knife and I'm just nicely just dragging it on there. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just letting the heat do the business for me. And then eventually it will come loose and that's it. And now you're left with something that's really pretty on the back and there's no drag lines. Okay, so this I would say is a finished cutout right here. I try not to go on the insides of these just because sometimes it'll end up tearing and looking really terrible. So I just leave this smaller inside white pieces white. Now it's time to add this on here. Because I'm gonna be shipping this and this is an actual order, I don't put this piece down because when you undo everything, it tends to um, kind of fold or make the tabs look a little ugly. So instead, I just leave it like this. This is how it's going to look when it's stand up. All you have to do is push this tab down and it, will, um, it won't move on you. But just for this assembly, this is how I do it. So we have this. I never, 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 there is like a full 3M piece right here. And then there's like a break, this small little one. I never peel this off, ever. Never don't do it. I always just peel off one and then go down to the bottom and peel off another. And then you're left with this middle one. Again, don't peel that. I always just stand up the character in the way that it needs to be stood up. And I just like nicely put on the the monster truck. Because this monster truck isn't that big, I'm only gonna do one stand. You could, for an optional, you could do two, but since it's not very big, I'm just going to leave it with only one. And now, even without the tabs pulled down, it still stands up on its own, which is perfect. That's exactly what you're looking for. Depending on your character and size, you might need to get uh, the, in the description of the video the link that I have for this easel they come in different sizes so of course if you have larger cutouts you're going to need a larger um, a larger easel but for this one because it's not very tall it's more long I'm just going to use the one small one and then that's it Ooh, I just touched that hot knife that was hot but then that's it so you have a finished high gloss styrofoam character cutout that stands up on its own all right, y'all, I hope I inspired you to make. I will see you later.